welcome back guys um, <clears throat> wanted to do a video today on um, a comment that somebody made uh, on one of my videos <clears throat> and kind of the uh, <clears throat> maybe a uh, topic that, that doesn't get talked about a lot um, truck driving is an inherently unhealthy profession <clears throat> I am not uh, in the best shape. I was not in the best shape when I started doing this. I have uh, certainly put on some weight uh, in the uh, two plus years that I have been driving. Um, and it's a very difficult lifestyle. Um, you know, I've, I've done a video that says trucking is a lifestyle. Um, food is very difficult um, in terms of you're always on the go. Uh, it's very difficult to find healthy eating options if you're talking about restaurants. Um, grocery stores are not conducive to um, getting in and out of. Walmart is, is usually the best, easiest way um, to purchase food. If you are in a, if you're lucky enough to be um, <clears throat> in a vehicle that has room to have a refrigerator and a microwave, um, or additional space where you can maybe have a little hot pot or something along those lines. You can do some cooking in the truck, and there are some guys who do an unbelievable job cooking in the truck. Um, doing what I do is almost um, more difficult in terms of eating healthy. Um, I need to plan ahead. I need to pack a lunch, pack a dinner, problem ends up being if I plan ahead for a day, uh, just as an example, it, my day today I had a morning delivery that if I would have done just that one delivery there and then back, I would have not needed to pack anything. And a lot of times that will be my day. Um, I could have a day where you know, if, if I would have just done that morning delivery and been done, I would have been back to my house prior to lunchtime or shortly after, probably about one o'clock. Um, so I could have eaten at home. <clears throat> sometimes, although today I knew and I did, I packed a lunch. Um, but sometimes you'll get to where you unload. And my appointment was 10 a.m. Sometimes you'll get to where you unload and you'll be told, with what I do, hey, could you do a second load today? And that second load means you're probably not going to get home, on, and in this case, for me, probably until tomorrow at 5 a.m. Um, so technically, I'm gonna be in the truck for nearly 24 hours today. Um, I will be getting home, you know, I left this morning at, what time did I leave? Seven o'clock, thereabouts. Um, so tomorrow I'll be in the truck for about 22 hours consecutively, um, but I will be getting home tomorrow morning. Now, I had planned for that and I had packed some food and, and whatnot, um, but there are times, like I said, well, you'll be in the middle of a first delivery with what I do, and there will be a note sent through the, com the, the computer, the Qualcomm, and it says, hey, can you do a second load today? And if you don't prepare by packing lunch, your options are truck stop food. And truck stop food is either the hot dog roller, the uh, corn dog, the pizza, the burger on a hot, underneath a, a, you know, a heat lamp, things along those lines. Or McDonald's, Hardee's, Subway being arguably the healthy choice. Um, at least amongst chain <clears throat> truck stops. There are some more sit-down restaurants. Um, you know, TA has their own um, restaurant in them. There are some Denny's. You can probably get some healthier items there. You can certainly find some healthier options at some of these other restaurants. You can get the salad, whatever. But the bottom line is truck stop food is not as healthy as other options. <clears throat> um, I will give this credit. Prime, I think, probably does 
arguably the best job amongst any truck company out there. They have an entire group of people headed by a former um, uh, collegiate swimmer uh, by the name of Sapiwe Baleka, who is in charge of driver health and fitness. And if you're interested, you can go through the driver health and fitness program. It's, I believe, a 13-week program. They talk about it a lot. Um, I have not gone through it. It does require you to go to Springfield. And as I've mentioned before, I'm not, uh, I don't go to Springfield very often. <clears throat> so um, I would find that very difficult to do. But you can go through Springfield. You can go through the class. Um, they help you with truck driving specific uh, exercises and diet plans and, and some options to try and as a truck driver they understand that's I guess that's the bottom line it's not always easy to hit a gym same problem with getting to a grocery store to get healthy food you can't pull into a strip mall with an 80,000 pound rig and park in a small parking spot and go in and do a half an hour workout on your 30 minute break uh, just doesn't work that way. So there are <clears throat> other options for some exercises. And because Sapiwe and the Driver Health and Fitness uh, Department knows truck drivers, they're aware of what you can do and what you can't do. And I give Prime a ton of credit for that. Um, there are a number, it's a sedentary lifestyle. Um, no matter what you do, you're going to be sitting in this seat driving a truck for multiple hours in a day. Um, even if you have a short day, you're still going to be in this seat. When you get to a truck stop at the end of your day, um, you're going to be, for the most part, in your truck. You can try to get out. You can try to walk around. <clears throat> but like I said, I give the Driver Health and Fitness program. And I'm going to put, they have a website. It's driverhealthandfitness.com. I'll put it in the, the, the description, link to their uh, website, in the description of this video. It's something that Prime is trying to do, um, trying to keep their drivers healthy. It's not easy, but it is kind of the elephant in the room. Um, truck driving is inherently a not healthy profession. Profession, You sit around a lot. You're going to get to a shipper or a receiver, and you might have, I've mentioned before, I've sat at a shipper or a receiver for 24 hours before. You don't have a ton of freedom to go off and do whatever it is you want or exercise or whatever. You're kind of confined to this area because they could come get you at a moment's notice and say, hey, we're ready to unload. So it is a sedentary lifestyle, but there are things that you can do. And like I said, that's, that's one thing that I do give Prime a ton of credit for. If you're concerned about the unhealthy lifestyle while you're in a truck, um, as far as what I've been told, uh, I think Prime does a good job. Driver Health and Fitness. And like I said, I'll put a link to the description. So P.O.A. Baleka has written books, um, put together exercise programs for truck drivers. He's been on national TV. He's been on, I don't remember which, but those Good Morning America t Today Show type um, morning programs talking about what he's done um, in the uh, health industry in terms of getting truck drivers healthy. So just a little note on the food aspect. It's not easy. It's so easy to get to a truck stop, run in and grab a Big Mac, run in and grab whatever fried item they have, corn dogs, whatever. Um, but it's up to you. Um, it, it, if you if you grab those, you're going to put on weight. I have done it because it's so easy. You've got three hours to get somewhere and it takes two hours and 45 minutes of driving you only got 15 minutes and you need to stop somewhere and grab something real quick, it's so easy to just grab something that's sitting on the shelf, whether it be a hot dog, whether it be that corn dog, whether it be whatever. It's so easy to do because it's right there and of course that's the whole point. So just a quick note on food, um, thought you'd uh, find that helpful. A note about Prime that uh, they at least are thinking about it, I'm not sure all companies do. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again next week. Again, if you'd like to come to Prime, link right in the description takes you directly to the application. Talk to you again next week, guys.